my sweet Java squad here because uh, Java the Hut, my favorite, my favorite character in our game because it has Salacious Crumb. I'm gonna go. Let's just go. Let's go all the way. We're gonna go. We're gonna go max difficulty here, and we'll see if we need to tune it back for for Java. We're all right. Should I, again? I, I don't think the mods are top tier on this, but they're decent, um, but not amazing. And do I have the Omicron on, on Bausch is a great question. I don't believe I do, but I can apply that and we can maybe try that um, to see how much of a difference that makes. But what I really like about this is that because this Java team has so much AOE, you are going to be hitting these explosives all the time. Um, so we'll see my how fast my score goes up here now that I'm using uh, a pretty strong squad. Let's just do this. Uh, didn't pull off anything that I wanted to. It's fine. Let's do some bombs. I think Chrysanthemum's disarm won't do the full thing, or it'll be slightly different. I can't remember how that works exactly. But I think against raid targets and, and whatnot, it's slightly different. So, all right, I'm going to just cleanse this off of us for now. And then I need to get rid of all of those defiant stacks. Look how tiny Java is. I know. Tiny little Java. <laughs> His little baby Java. <laughs> little baby Java. That's what they call him. So he's got 14. Is there anything else I can do? Stun fear, ability block days, blind, stagger, tenacity down. Does this when it's at five? I'm at five. This gives me armor shred and damage over time. I don't um, think there's a way for me to get the last oh, four. Wow. Chris, I saw the chat. Um, it's Old Republic, uh, the Tuscans, uh, Mandos, and the Hut Cartel are the required units you can bring in. Yes. What happens when a Rancor comes to attack uh, a crate Dragon? Uh, gets eaten. Gets eaten. It gets eaten. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gets eaten pretty bad. bad. Uh, but unfortunately, my oh, guy you got... Saved yourself, though. You Wait. saved yourself. I did, but my guy got swallowed. So I saved myself to some extent, and then I definitely didn't in other places here. So... I mean, technically, you've you've stayed true to the movie, right? Well, I guess he got it in my cell. Yeah, uh, he'll be fine. He's got Mando armor on. He'll, he'll probably pop out in twenty yeah, or thirty I'm sure, years. Sure, he'll be fine. <laughs> Hopefully, just hanging out, you know, <laughs> waiting for the opportune time. Ooh, I probably shouldn't use that cleanse there because he's about to do his thing, and he's going to make us all vomiting and gross. But as you can see, compared to the Tuscans, like the, the time it takes for this refresh of this ballista uh, just doesn't go up anymore. So I have to rely on my characters actually doing enough to either kill him or I have to do something that like I have to try and figure out how, what other debuffs I could throw at him to try and stop him from doing his thing. But right now I'm kind of a little worried that I'm not going to get to the max here, but we'll see. Okay. Doing all right, I think. Problem is, I'm just not getting anyone back from these. Yep. I mean, you're doing pretty well score-wise. I mean, you're closing in on the max. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling better about this score run. I'm going, you're going to finish at 2-2. Two, 2-2? Two. Two, two yep. Okay, that's, uh, that's generous of you given that his enrage timer is about to happen. What I meant to say is 2-1. <laughs> oh, 2-3! Look at that! <laughs> so I got pretty close there, and I think I yeah, played yeah. poorly, to say the least. Um, but 2,400? 2.4 million, essentially? Uh, out of, of 2.7? Yeah, that seems not bad. That. You should submit that one. I don't think you're going to do any better than that. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna do any better than that? You don't think I can win? Well, here's what I am gonna where's, do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ooh, drop it. Confidence. Discard it. Yeah, discard it. Confidence in me, head. That's like that's. It's, it's not. It's, he was so close. Perfect or go home, meathead. Come on. What I what, uh, I, what I really want to do is is show you that. Let's go to five. 
Is it really perfect if you're dropping down to five, though? So the problem is, right, with five is that I'm getting less score overall, right? The 1800 is the max instead of the 2700. So, and I got above 1800. But I do want to show you the final, like, animation here. Um, can Tenacity prevent all those debuffs from his vomit? I can't remember if those are uh, if those are not resistible. Um, oh, Omicron. Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll do, we'll do, yeah, so I want to try this, and then we'll do Omicron. Don't worry. So, let's do, let's do this. And did we ever figure out if it's Bausch or Boosh? Boosh? Uh, it's Boosh. There is a there is a way, and I'm not going to do it because I can't remember which one's the right one, and I don't want to get ridiculed in chat. Ronan, yes, you can absolutely switch difficulties with every team that you bring in. You can even switch difficulties with the same team. You just don't submit your score and retry, and then you can select a new modifier. So the difficulty modifiers are are any time between battles. So you can set those. With no penalty, you can try and punch up, and if it doesn't work, you just retry and you lower your difficulty and try again. Or if you were too low, um, then you can say, "Whoa, I could do way better than that." Retry <laughs> and do the exact same team. So, uh, no penalties here. Uh, like once you've selected a difficulty modifier, you just don't submit your score, and then you can go back in and, and reselect it and try again as yeah. many times as you want. As many times as you want to try. Um, they, the new, the old raids do use the new point system, um, but they still do have phases. Uh, the only difference between the legacy raids and the new raids is that there is no, um, personal reward track for legacy raids. It's only the guild reward track to remain consistent with the legacy raids. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, so. it's, it's, it's similar to the old system as much as it could be. Right. I mean, uh, yeah, but there's, using, there's but no using difficulty the new cool modifiers. Stuff. Yeah. There's no difficulty modifiers. It's literally, we have changed it to a point system. And it allows you to um, share rewards, so there's no more competitiveness in the legacy raids. But you do not get difficulty modifiers or the personal reward track. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, we will still have a HUD. We will. We will absolutely still have a HUD. So I'm realizing the ballista. I probably should just save that for the right moment instead of just like using it all the time. But because it's not. Yeah, the, the ballista is really good with the Tuscans, and then you have to be very. Um, conservative with the other teams. Yeah, um, that, noticing that's that. sort of the type of customs <laughs> where one's using the ballista the most of the time, so uh, they're they're very proficient at it. So yeah, you need to use your debuffs from your other teams, uh, but the ballista comes in a big big way with the yeah. uh, Tuscan. Hasn't really vomited on me, and I've been kind of waiting for that, and that's been maybe kind of foolish of me because uh, you've been waiting for it to vomit on you. Yeah. Because I was, I got the, uh, I got the cooldown on for Java here, but uh, it hasn't quite been working great, and I don't think I can get f sixty more stacks down off this thing. Um, the other thing, Chris, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I think the the Hut Cartel um, has the ability to explode bombs in one hit. So yes, I believe that is, the, I believe that is the case. Yeah. And yeah. so that's one of the benefits for the hut cartel is that by doing it once, you can actually explode the bombs, and so those can go out a lot faster. Doing a lot more damage when he's underground. Yeah. Uh, this raid only has one phase. There are no more phases for this raid. Uh, it is only a single phase raid. 